We're going to try and do this one from inside the cab in a ride-along scenario. So actually we already have our exterior boundary autonomy ready. We have a 120 foot headland boundary inside here that's already set up. We're going to be inside the exterior boundary, which we currently are. That was all, that's, you brought that in through work plan? Yes. Yep. I brought that all in through work planner. So technically we are sitting in a position where we are good to go. This one up at the top, this is a Wi-Fi. This is for J-Link Boost. So we gotta wait for that to, when you first start up, that'll have a little exclamation. That takes the longest, it seems like, to pick everything up. This other one says, this is data link, or data sync setup files, which we're not, have turned on anyway. We are linked, we have SFRTK on both the integrated receiver on the tractor and the implement, and we are, linked together. So you can't start until you're, I want to say at 80%, if I remember right. It won't let you even, it'll, this will fail, so. So after that, we're just going to touch our autonomy link that we created in down there. You can see it's kind of already got some lines in there, but it seems like it wants to redraw those every time we turn it on. So we'll wait to do that until after we get on. And we have our two choices. We can either ride along, which was what we're going to do, or we can exit the cab. So we're gonna do the ride along one. So is it gonna push okay? So these are the statuses. We are in the ready state. So. The screen before this where it asked us if we wanted to do ride along or the exit cab and we hit ride along and then it had a picture of your resume switch and said okay. We hit okay and of course it goes through all of its ready state. Now at this point I could still turn it off, we're okay, I can talk about a default and this is where it gets confusing, where do you want this thing to start? So I guess we can start it. The horn. So now the horn will go 10 times, chirps 10 times, and our beacon will then go to our hazard lights. Jaden noticed that the hazard lights flash really fast, and then once it starts moving, yep. it goes to its regular. Yep. So we're in autonomy. We are not touching a thing. Now, I can touch, so like I can get out of this, and I can adjust here, so we're going to go up. So we're not doing much in the back. And I can go back into the autonomy. And yeah. but I can't touch the steering wheel, nothing with speed control, nothing. The only thing I can touch in here was the monitor. It's like... So now it has us coming up here, and it's gonna take us back down that path, that path. to the left. Okay. Because it kind of chooses, it's, it's not a traditional like, Next row, next row, next row, over it. No, and it, and it will do skip passes, so it'll be interesting to see how it does this one. It usually tries to do a skip pass. And you just had to basically turn turn automation on, or did you have to do a lot of setups and turn automation, or did auto, autonomy do that? Nope, there wasn't much to do in turn automation. Now, we can adjust this, the turn automation right now, The turn and everything, though, as far as turn automation, auto track, the smoothness, that thing didn't jerk at all, or really, it was really smooth. There's a 
to stop. It's not something. There was a tumbleweed over there. I was kind of waiting to see if it made its way towards us, but I don't. I didn't. So right oh, now, it's that. I saw that when we drove yep. out here. That okay. So black piece of metal or. I saw that when we drove. So the what happened out. there was it saw something in there on the ground and said, "Oh no, I need to stop, check out, see what that is." That goes because you notice we never lost active status. This kept yep. circling and circling. So at that point, it sent that uh, safety team at Deer, that group of people. They're looking. They looked at that footage and went, "Oh no, you're okay." Kind of scary it was that fast. Oh. Now, when it stops because something moves in its field of view, um, what we've been told so far is that review team usually works 30 to 45 seconds. They'll review it and then they'll either send it back on its way or demote it, and then at which point the producer will get a notification saying the tractor has been demoted somebody needs to go out there. Once it's been fully demoted you actually have to come back into the cab, turn it on, that same sequence we started with. You have to do that again. Um, and then to restart it, if you're going to do it from outside of the cab, the phone, whatever you're going to start it from, from the Op Center mobile app, that has to be within 1,500 feet of the tractor. So there's some really nice redundant safety systems built in. The one thing I was curious about, and I was going to ask you, the tractor, you didn't have to put it in like custom mode or anything. Nope. Autonomy takes care of everything. Autonomy takes care of everything. Dip block, it engages. Throttle, it runs. It's in park and low idle right now. It takes care of everything. And we were talking about that earlier. If, if a person did exit the cab or did not choose to ride along in the cab, they do tell you to turn the key off. Yes. Yeah, because so once it's done, it looks at the key state and says, okay, am I in the on position or am I in the off position? If I'm in the on position, it just stays there. And it will idle until somebody comes back out. It's in the off position. Once it's done and it's completed all the work that it can, then it will look at that key position and go, okay, I'm in the off position, so I'll wait five minutes, cool down, and then it'll shut itself off. As far as getting the autonomy going, like the op center is the work itself. Like you you did the boundary, you did the work plan, and you sent it, but once you got to the tractor, it knew the work plan because yep. of the boundary. You didn't really have to do much there on wasn't, that. No, there wasn't much I had to do at all. Kind of like a normal nothing. operation. You like normal, yeah. Hit the like okay button and you got to do. Yeah. Hey, that's we full, made it a full pass. That's a full pass without a stop. I kind of, do you think them pickups did have something to do with it? Like it maybe thought they were coming? They talked a little bit about that down there. I don't remember the exact specs, but like standing water, it's got to be a certain dimension yep. and other things the like that. The movable object, I do know that it's got to be, they're, they're saying right now it's got to be around 12 inches by 12 inches. Okay, so we're going to turn it off. So now we can try to do this remotely. Yeah, like uh, exiting the cab, right? Like exit the cab. Yeah. Yes. So using the shortcut, we'll access the autonomy menu and then we will toggle autonomy on. Now with the cab presence, we will choose exit cab. And once you choose exit cab, you'll get the warning to confirm that the cab will be empty during operation. With autonomy enabled, we will have the ready states, still detecting the operator in seat. This is where the operator will exit the cab. 
Once the operator has left the seat, it'll be in a ready state. But as the operator is leaving the tractor, the cameras will pick up and give a message, potential human too close. Once the operator has cleared the area, the machine will go back into the ready state and autonomy can be activated using the Operation Center mobile app. Looking at the machine within the app, under the Right Now tab, there is Autonomy On and a checklist. Once the checklist is complete, we can start Autonomy. Using the arrow at the bottom, we'll swipe it from left all the way to the right. Autonomy is on and it is preparing the warning sequence. Looking at it from the cab with an RDA session, you can see we go from the ready state to the active state. Once autonomy is active, the machine will go through the warning sequence. The horn will honk, the hazards will flash, and once that's completed, the machine will begin field operation. In autonomy mode, the operator will view the machine through the Operation Center mobile app, and the operator will receive all notifications and alerts through Operation Center mobile. With autonomy active, Here's what Operation Center Mobile will look like. We have an option to pause autonomy and the option for go to. I can choose this and have the machine go back to the entrance of the field. Autonomy is active, sensors are enabled, working with the engine RPMs, acres remaining for the tillage, some tillage metrics, live view for the cameras and adjust remote settings. Doing the ride along method first before exiting the cab was a great experience to fully understand some of the steps and processes that are taking place during autonomy.